guys, it's Sarah from Alcom Bus Lady. So we're gonna start a little bit with a giveaway. So basically, Alcom Bus and Coin Gecko are giving away one Ledger Nano as the first reward, one Ethereum as the second, and 200 XRP to three lucky winners. So you guys basically got time until 10th of September to apply, and the link is obviously on my Twitter, uh, Alcoin Sarah, if you're not following me yet. So you just have to click on it and basically follow some simple ways of just following us on social, subscribing to us, if you haven't yet to Alcoin Bus Ladies for some weird reason. And it's basically that simple, so the more entries you've got, the bigger the chance. Obviously, genius again. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to just start off with that and today we're gonna talk about Lisk, which following CoinGecko with current market cap of 227 billion and the 24 hour volume of 15 billion. Lisk is currently ranked on number 17, trading at a price of $4.58. So as we can see, the market is currently in red and one of the cryptos that's in green is actually Dogecoin and I think I know why it's in green, but let me know guys if you want me to make a video about Dogecoin again. I've made it once and I introduced my dog in there. But that's a little bit irrelevant. Let's just get on straight to the list because I'm so getting carried away now. So the reason why we're going to talk about Lisk is because they have reached its most important, probably exciting milestone to date. And following quite a heavy and demanding period of development, testing and quality assurance to guarantee the release of only possible best product, Lisco 1.0 is now on mainnet. And all 101 Lisk delegates migrated in less than 24 hours are successfully forging and securing the network. And their development team has been working incredibly hard to bring the project to this point. And along with the release of Lisco 1.0, they have also released Lisk Elements 1.0, Lisk Commander, Lisk Hub, Lisk Explorer and Lisk Nano 2.0 over the last few weeks. So this is basically what we're going to talk about, what they've done there and how it's all coming along with all of the various components of the Lisk ecosystem have evolved to maintain compatibility with one another. And each product brings about its own major updates, further functionalities and advanced features. So we'll start off with the Lisk Core 1.0. And the Lisco product was first created in February 2016 and has since seen 41 iterations. And the most recent version prior to Lisco 1.0 was Lisco 0.9.16. And getting to this point in their development involved making over 8,000 comments and closing over 1,000 issues with thousands of peer reviews. So the important products of Lisco involve the new API and design. So in an effort to lower the entry barriers to Lisk and increase user adoption, they are utilizing REST, a widely used standard, and REST makes their API simple, intuitive, and expressive, therefore user-friendly for all of the developers. The new P2P communication layer, also known as the real-time peers, so they redesigned their P2P layer to maximize performance and improve the reliability of the network, and peers are now able to stay connected to each other and exchange data using a real-time framework provided by the Socket Cluster. So a Socket Cluster is a fast, highly scalable HTTP and real-time server engine. It removes the limitations of having to run your node.js server as a single thread and can utilize all of the CPU cores available on a machine. It can scale easily by splitting work between multiple processes. It also helps to make your backend system resilient by automatically recovering worker threads in the case of crashes. As the next one, we've got the transaction memo. And with their brand new data field, you now have the option to attach a custom message of up to 64 bytes to your transaction. And next one, we're gonna have the atomic block rights. And the fully atomic block rights guarantee proper data integrity across the network's nodes when writing to the database, together with greatly improved processing efficiency as well. And the last Last one but not least one is the structure and rewritten test suite. So having a proper test suite is very important for the security of every network as those efforts will guarantee the appropriate behavior of the application in the future. And during the road to Lisco 1.0, they have written more than 80,000 lines of different test types and they have also completely rewritten most of them 
to ensure that they can scale further. So that was about it, about Lisco 1.0 and their feather development and what it actually involves. And now we're gonna get on to one of the extra features being Lisk Elements 1.0. And I was thinking of how much into detail to actually go into it. And I think that if I'll just briefly explain what it covers and what are the compartments of it, it'll make more sense. So Lisk Elements 1.0. So in an early August, they released Lisk Elements 1.0, which is the latest general purpose JavaScript library, formerly known as Lisk JS. It is their go-to resource for this related JavaScript functionality. It is primarily intended for primarily for JavaScript developers and they currently use it in several of their own products, including ListCap and the List Commander. And the Lisk Elements 1.0 introduces five new key features, like a new API client for Lisk Elements has been designed to work with the new public API available in Lisk 1.0. They've structured the API client resource Base so that is extensible and adjustable to changes in the list or API. Then they have the complete code base rewrite and redesign where they're dividing functionality into quite distinct areas with clear dependencies on each other. For example, the constants relating to the Lisk protocol or their mainnet and testnet networks. The third one will be new protocol for signing messages using the Lisk passphrase. So they have made protocol level improvements on the signing message feature in order to make it more secure. And by adding the Lisk protocol specific header in the message, the message can be differentiated from other protocols and users will be prevented from missigning unintended messages. They also have on top of that the more utility functions and basically along with creating transactions functions, they have created utility functions that can also be used independently. And last but not least, they're offering the renaming of exposed functions and variable, which basically makes the purposes of the functions and variable much clearer, making it easier for developers to find the functionalities they are actually looking for. So the next one we have is the list Commander 1.0. Oh, and on top of that, they have recently released the latest version of their command line interface still being Lisk Commander 1.0. Previously known as Lisky, Lisk Commander is a tool for advanced users of the Lisk network and uses their general purpose JavaScript library the Lisk element. It also provides the functionality to interact with Lisk or with the use of command line. And the Lisk Commander 1.0 introduces four new key features. And they involve basically accessing more information, creating, signing, verifying, and broadcasting transactions and signature, encrypting passphrase and decrypt passphrase commands now compatible with Lisk or 1.0, as well as signing message and verifying the message, which are commands that are often used to prove the ownership of a particular account. And the last part that we're gonna talk about is the Lisk Hub 1.1. And Lisk Hub, for those of you who don't know, is an all-in-one solution to manage your Lisk ID access and send LSK tokens as well as vote for delegates and to accommodate the release of Lisk 1.0 a great deal of work was done in Lisk 1.0 and Lisk 1.1 to ensure that its entire code base is compatible with the new API and Lisk elements for end users. This means that the auto update will skip version 1.0 and go directly to 1.1. On top of everything that I've already said, they're also working on a mobile version of the Lisk app and it'll be basically called Lisk Mobile and you can watch it on their video that they've got on their Twitter, I think, shared as well. They are also planning on Lisk Explorer 2.1.4 which is compatible with Lisk or 1.0. However, there are many exciting plans in the works for the future of Lisk Explorer. So there is loads of exciting news and still lots of new development. And I I'm just interested if you guys are actually invested into Lisk, what you guys think of it. Have you participated and anticipated the main net release and what you think it actually has for the future? when it comes to the price of Lisk, as seeing this price is, is absolutely ridiculous. So guys, let me know what you think of this video, whether you enjoy such a like technical video. It took me ages to actually prep for this video, so I hope at least 10% of you actually survive for the most of it. Remember to subscribe to Acombus Ladies, follow us on Twitter at Acombus Ladies, follow me on Twitter as well at Sarah, and let me know what you want me to review next. 
and remember to subscribe to our giveaway. And I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.